I'm going to show you how our return to top widget works. So this is the widget up here. I've placed it here because no matter where you place it, it will always appear at the bottom left or right. And for that, you have to go inside the, the widget settings and tell them tell it where, where you want it. So I'm going to open the, the settings now so you see. What you can do is you can change the background color and the background opacity, the hover background color too, and the hover background opacity. The arrow color here, you can also change it. And if you also want the hover effect, you can change the color too. And here you can actually play with a, with a circle radius. So I'm going to set it to zero so you guys see what happens. Okay, so circle. Sorry, I mean, <laughs> circle radius, if you set it to zero, it means it's square. So the more you increase it, you see how the borders become a bit more circle. So before this, before changing it, it was on 15. So I'm going to go to 25 pixels. So you see the effect. See, now it's, it is circle, and I'm going to leave it here and... 15 because I actually like this a bit more okay that's it so you can play with this and here's where you have to choose if you want to align it right so just leave it here and yes and if you click on no that means it's going to be on the left so I'm gonna preview this so you guys see what happens Okay, so remember the widget was up here inside Muse. So the thing is that you won't see the widget because it just makes sense when you start scrolling down, it will appear. So I'm going to start scrolling down. See how it appeared here? So I'm going to go down, 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 down. And if I click on it, I have this little hover effect. So I'll go up. And when you return to the top, there's nothing again. Just when you scroll down, it will appear. All right, that easy. Thank you guys for watching.